Morning, Hammond. Morning, chaps. How are you? We're very well. You do know this is a race car, don't you? Yes, apart from the fact it's got indicators and a rear-view mirror. And you do know racing cars never work on the road. After an hour in this, you'll be scared you're going to die. After two hours, you'll be scared in case you don't die. Should we just get on with this? Well, you've done that wrong. No, I haven't. In the first season of the Grand Tour, we did a big test of three large off-roaders. Yep. You had a Range Rover and you went, you'd be mad not to have a Range Rover. The Range Rover's literally the best, so you can't now stand there and say that it isn't. Well, I mean, two things. One, you picked the wrong one, you should have had an Alpha. And two, it's the wrong colour. What are you doing here? Well, I have come to remind you, because you've obviously forgotten, that we have no need for the Mustang in Britain, because... If you want to spend, what, £30,000, £35,000 on a fast Ford, you'd buy a Focus RS. Because you couldn't buy this, but now you can. That is the point. That's but what I mean. Need. Would you wear chaps? No, because we have trousers. What about cowboy? Oh, you are cowboy. I don't want everything from America. I just want the Mustang. Amer Stupid. No, America wasn't designed for here. We'd only gone a few miles before Richard and James completely changed their minds. The Excellent was the best car they'd ever been in. No, we haven't. Stop saying things in voiceover that aren't true. Is it not? I thought you'd changed your mind. No. Has it got a fuel gauge? Not as such. Has it got a temperature gauge? Not really. There's a lot of wires hanging out of the dash that aren't connected to things. Yeah. Can I put the heater on? That's not connected. Is it not? No. <laughs> I can see the road. I can as well. No, there's a hole in the floor. Mm -hmm. I could sell this for 120,000. No, you couldn't. Yes, I could. <laughs> a KN, a KN Turbo is 120. A, a KN Turbo is a proper car built by Porsche. This is two scrap cars glued together by a Muppet. I'm trying to work out why I lost that race. I think it's because your car isn't as fast as mine. Yeah, but mine is so light. How do you know it's light? Every time Alpha say how much it weighs, they give a different figure. When Picasso had finished one of his paintings, he didn't say, oh, I wonder how much that weighs. Yeah, but you need to know the weight of an Alpha for when you resell it, because you buy scrap cars by weight. <laughs> oh, hello? What? It's a dung heap. It is a dung line. heap. What, what are you, is this a car? What is it? How do you fit in it? Well, only just. And where's your windscreen? There. <laughs> Can we just test your blind spots, James? Can you see either of us? No. <laughs> Heavily pedestrianised areas should be avoided. <laughs> oh, now, look at all of this. In my performance mode screen, I can measure G-forces, braking distance, reaction times, quarter mile time. It's brilliant. Irrelevant twaddle. <laughs> Bit of smoke. That's ecological. Greenpeace are going to be ringing him up at any moment. Tremendous. Smells of nature. I'm in nature. I'm made of nature. <laughs> oh dear! <no. laughs> There's not much car left now. Is it? Well, That's look a... at it. You think, oh, James's car's full of. Parts. I'm standing in my spare parts department. All of it. Can be used to rebuild your car. If, right under there. We're going to set off and leave you behind. Well, hang on, you can't leave me behind because we haven't started yet. We're still in the field. Oh, yes. Morning. Morning. That is the silent ballet. That's how Rolls-Royce themselves describe the roof going up and down on there. Silent ballet, that's what they say. They also talk about the dawn provides an erotic tingle on the skin. Whoa, whoa. Is it all their work? Actual... They also say the car is a contemporary take on the casino lifestyle. It is intended to attract people. What people who put their seatbelts on? Exactly. Casino lifestyle. Casino lifestyle. <laughs> da! What? Can we go? Have you got your seatbelt on? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. You seen this stupid thing? Well, never mind that. Look what he's driving. Why is that Hammond? I guess the Cadillac's definitely broken. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <coughs> Check out my Fulu. Why have you got that? Well, I wasn't going to let you have all the fun, was I? Look, look I've got wheels, three of them. What Five, engine's it got? 588cc. It's actually smaller than its own air filter. I was going to say, my alternator's bigger than that <laughs> Mercedes. <laughs> I just can't believe it. 
that James May is the Exorcist. I am surprised to see you two so upbeat about this trip. Why do you say that? Well, you're always saying how much you don't like muscle cars. Yeah, I just say that to annoy you. All right. James May has brought the new Toyota Yaris, which has a ridiculous name. Grimmer. Two racing Meisters of the Nurburgring. Oh, ho, ho, your favourite place. Of course, it's a brown car. It's not brown. That is brown. Oh, it's, yeah. That is mushroom. The cameraman know about colour. Is it brown? It's brown. It's definitely brown. brown. It's brown. It's, brown. It's, it's mushroom.